Hi welcome to the quantity surveying studio if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe for more quantity surveying related videos in this video i'll be showing you the three most important things that can be applied in your excel report before sending it to your higher management for the client or the consultant with applying these three important things your reports will become more clear effective and easily understandable a lot of information can be obtained from the reports with the implementation of these three tips that i'm going to explain so without further delay let's move into the video so this is the excel sheet that i'll be using to explain the three important tips before you send the report to your project manager or your commercial manager or your client or the consultant so this is a day work log which i've used for one of my previous projects this was a villa project so i had to record the day works being carried out for each villa separately so if you see the heading of the table we have their sl number then the date of the work being executed the description of the work executed the villa number the amount that is being claimed then the amount that has been certified by the client or the consultant so this is the basic basic table that is prepared so the first thing that you need to do is to apply a filter to apply the filter what you need to do is select the heading of your table go to sort and filter and click on filter so now the filter has been applied and with this you can easily filter out different information for example if you need to filter out what are the works done in villa number 1 you just unclick entire thing and just click on what you require so you click on one so you will get to know the works that has been executed executed in villa number 1 again if you need to know what works has been executed on a particular date first unclick then click like if you need to know on january 7 2018 what works were done just click on that and click on okay so you will get to know the work that has been done on this particular date so the first thing is filter now next thing is free spain so now if you see this report if someone receives this report if it is just scrolling down just like that it is difficult to understand for that person to know what what is 2860 suddenly he just needs to go back and check like okay claim amount this column is claim amount this column is certified amount so if there is a lot of data maybe someone might forget about it and again there will be a confusion like what is this amount and what is this amount so to avoid that confusion we can use free spain free spain is freezing a particular part of your excel sheet so here we need to freeze this part so for that what we can do is to keep this the remaining thing can be scrollable and only this part is needed to be free so you need to click on the row above which the freezing needs to be done so here the freezing needs to be done at this part so you need to click here and then go to view click on free spain and then free spain so once that is done see now this your heading part your heading row has become freeze and the remaining part of your table is scrollable so it is easily you can just scroll down and easily understand okay 25 july 161 minutes claim amount 84 is the villa number you need not just go above and then check what each column heading is so this is the second thing that needs to be applied in your report now the third thing that is to be applied is your summary now every report will be having a summary since you are a quantity surveyor all your reports will be cost related so there will be a summary so here we make a total usually what we do is we click on the cell and click auto sum and check if all cells has been included and and click enter so we'll just control copy control c and paste the same function here so we'll just check if entire cell has been included so this is usually done so now the summary you can understand 583868 rupees or dirhams has been claimed and 460770 has been certified till date but the problem with this is if you are filtering out something for example you are filtering villa number 53 you can just type and you want to know the summary of this villa like how much works has been claimed what has been certified so when you click that if you see the total is not shown it is not being shown so it is not easy to understand how much amount has been claimed and certified so to avoid that confusion instead of using the summation auto sum what you can use is subtotal so you will just delete this equal to subtotal put a bracket you will get some options now we need the sum so 9 is the option for sum click on 9 i mean type 9 then select all the cells close the bracket enter now we'll control copy and put the same formula here so now we have used subtotal for finding the summary so now when we are filtering out now let's see we are filtering the details of 53 and click okay see now we have the total here so 14000 for amount worth claim 
amount per day work has been done and 11,760 has been certified. So if you need to again filter it date wise, you need to know like for 2018 April, so we'll click 2018 April, maybe 29th, what was the amount of works done and what was certified. We'll click that again. If you go down, see 22,734 amount of work was done was claimed and then only 3900 has been certified till date so this is the third important thing that can be applied on your excel report so if these three things are applied and then sent to your hire manager or the commercial manager project manager so it will be very easy for them to go through the file go through the report and understand it better and it will be easy for you also suddenly if your manager is asking you like villa number seven just check how much work was done and how much day works were done you can easily go filter 7 and then tell him okay 14,068.45 amount of work was done and then you can just find out why the amount certified is less and then you can do the necessary steps or necessary action to you know, rectify this so hope this video was informative if you found it to be useful do share it with your friends and colleagues please do like this video if you found it to be useful you can easily apply it in your daily professional life thanks a lot for watching Keep learning, stay safe, bye.